Hello everybody and welcome back to Europa where we are currently working on saving up to be able to get global trade here. It's going to be a little bit before that actually spreads in. 10% of our spread is due to being at peace, but I kind of want to go to war. So what we're going to end up doing here is we're going to attack Wagadougou. The reason we're going to do that is not because we want to take over Wagadougou. The reason we're going to do that is because they are allied with Tunis and Fula. What we actually want to do is vassalize Wagadougou. And we want to take over this chunk of Tunisian Guinea, right? Eventually, we're going to want to come up here and take over more of the Tunisian territory proper. But for right now, that's out of scope of what we're looking to do. We have no real way to get up here. It's fine. Tunis is not very strong. They have 36,000 troops. They are Miltec 18 compared to our Miltec 17. That's not that scary. So that seems okay. And that will also bring us into conflict with Fulo, who I don't think we can really do too much with. They're Miltech 17. They would not accept vassalization at this time. Mostly because of economic base and distance between borders. Okay, fair enough. So we're not too concerned about Fulo. But we would love to get the Tunisian coast over here. That's for sure. And we also have access to the colonization out over here now. It's only three provinces. But we do have access to it. So that's good. If we run out of, you know, this territory. Which we will do eventually. We'll run out of that. So for now, that's reasonably fine. Now, Shua is still only our ally. We do want to vassalize them. What can we get up to here? Okay, let's improve relations with them. We'll need to tick forward here. I'm not going to go to war immediately. I want to get them vassalized first. Let's actually bring these guys over, and we're going to crush their rebels for them, which will give them some opinion. We'll let our morale regenerate a bit. So we'll go in on 1 June. Okay. Uh, we don't have access. Eh... Can we have access, please? Okay. There we go. Now we can go in. I assumed we would because we were allied, but okay, whatever. We're going to offer them military access in return, of course. There we go. So that'll bring them up to 130 opinion. And this can come up by another, like, 60. So we don't need to send them any gold or anything. Improved relations. Well, it'll come up by another 40. Hmm. Okay, so would a gift be cheaper or would influence nation be cheaper? Well, we can't influence nation because we have loans. So, sending them a gift is our only real option. That'll be 50 gold, bringing us up to 161. That'll do the trick. Okay, now as far as these loans go, we're paying 1.89 in interest. I don't think we bother to repay this right now. Do we? We probably should. We should repay that. And that'll be just fine. So 167 now. Looks good. Can come up by another 32. Which will be more than enough. That'll take us to 199. I like it. Remember, we're saving up our cash now. And I want to make sure that... Uh, we can unmothball this fleet. Our... Our, our fleet maintenance is at zero right now, so that'll be fine. That'll be functionally no different. Okay. So let's get Shua vassalized, and then we're going to go to war out over here. So for that to happen... Okay, we converted the, the heretics of Guido. That's fine. We're going to continue to convert out over here. I don't think Britain will join us in this war, for the record. They have no reason to. So, no, they won't. I, I'm not expecting them to join this war, to be honest. Shua wouldn't either, but they will, eventually. So that'll be fine. Morocco sowed descent. Okay, so we just got these guys popping up. That's fine. Are we at max army maintenance? We are. We should actually turn down our army maintenance right now. We do have this rebel uprising in Ausa. Um, that's up over here. They're 90%. Okay. 
We're going to keep our army maintenance up for the moment, but we are going to provoke this revolt. Oh, I'm, I'm quite dumb. I'm quite dumb. I was under the impression that we hadn't had a month tick since we lowered our morale. Interesting. <laughs> well, it's okay. I don't want to lose dockets here, but we have to either way. We'll take the admin power. Where are we retreating to? Melindy. Well, I assumed that this was still at full morale, but apparently I was dumb. That's okay. So Shua is at 180. We'll get these turned around and march back in, and that'll be fine. No real problem. It's just a slight delay. Back we go. Cool. So no issues there, really. What else do we have here? So this is going to be Kong Separatists out in Karoo. That's interesting. I didn't expect Separatism over here. Oh, it's because we're converting it. Honestly, I think it's fine to just increase the autonomy here and not have to deal with it. Cool. So what about Oyo? This, we should definitely provoke. No problem there. And then there's Noop in Ida, which is right out over here. Let's go ahead and provoke them as well. No issues. And then, of course, there's Kong, which will be 41.6 years away. That's not a concern. Excellent. Can we promote any additional cultures? Not at this time. That said, it would be better to drop Ganda and promote Somali culture. There we go. Cool. So we, of course, win these battles. That was fully expected. We're going to pull back over here. Shua wants us to give them ducats. We decline. Which does drop our opinion with them by 10, unfortunately. Okay, these guys are sieging over here. That seems fine. We'll deal with them. No problem. And our conversion here should be done before this pops. Okay. Now we should be able to drop our military maintenance. Finally. <laughs> Making ourselves quite a lot more money towards getting that institution. Beautiful. That conversion is over, as expected. And we'll get all of that taken care of. Cool. I do want to have a small amount of army maintenance, just so that we have some troops flowing back into the armies. 17. It's not many, but it'll flow in a little bit. So that's fine. So we have 625 gold here. I do want to hop over to our estates real quick. Hmm. Okay, right. Corruption less than 1%. Man, that's expensive. It's so expensive. I don't want to do it. I don't. I don't want to do that. Okay. We are rooting out corruption a little bit. Just by default. So that's fine. Let's check in on our institution spread quick here. I also want to check up over here. This is all embraced. Noted. Lose 25 admin power? Sure. The real question here is, do we think we're going to need another army up here? I suspect the answer to that to be yes. So I'm going to send this one up. And we'll declare this war soon, once this is ready to go. I just, I really want global trade to come in. At this point, we can grab Miltech 18. That's a big deal. Two combat widths, improved flanking range, leather cannons. That's a very big deal. So we'll get those leather cannons. And our combat width is now 32, which means that we should change out our template. Instead of being 13 to 5, that improved flanking range does mean that we could go for like 13 4, potentially. But I think that's more expensive. Well, it is more expensive. So I think we're going to go for 15. 
2. And then this, of course, would be also 15. No, it, it needs to be 17. 15 to 17. For a combat width of 32. Okay, so we'll call this, of course, the standard army. Okay. And what do we got here? Yep, 32. Just wanted to double check that. So we will go ahead and recruit a little bit here. Two cannon and two infantry per army. That seems fine. So we'll go ahead and recruit here. And we'll recruit here. That will cost a little bit. We're going to wait until these guys arrive up here to recruit for them. Although we can recruit them right here. So let's go ahead and recruit in two cannon and two South African musketeers. And they'll be waiting here once we arrive. Looks good. Now, how much is it going to cost to recruit all of this? That'll take us over our force limit. And the build cost is 700. Noted. Again, we're deliberately keeping our advisors empty for the time being. Because we want to make as much gold as we can. There's another conversion done. I like it. We're definitely converting a lot more quickly now. So that's good. Our religious unity is coming up. Ashanti pretender rebels, huh? We're going to need to go deal with that. Let's go ahead and bump up our army maintenance now. And when would we arrive here? Well, not for a while. Not for a while, indeed. They've got that under control, I'm pretty sure. I don't want to lose the stability. Okay, so we would arrive here on 15 July. We'll definitely wait until August. There we go. We can grab these ideas. I'm not going to at this moment, but we can continue to convert. There we go. And we'll hop back over here. We're going to declare this war soon. I want to have these guys have a leader, and our ruler can have military command here. That's fine. These guys down here, can we have our heir have command yet? Our heir is still too young, so we'll recruit a general. That's a decent maneuver general. Decent maneuver general indeed. We're going to need another one, though, and the question is, can we have it? Actually, yes, we can. So we're going to need the military power for that. That'll take some time. And that's okay. I'm not too concerned about it. Okay. Um, supply limit of 32. We did just lose our Grand Captain. Now, that does hurt us because a lot of our cash is in army maintenance. So, I would like to replace our Grand Captain if we could. Sad. None of those are actually useful. Oof. Oof. Well, that is going to hurt us financially. We can recruit another general. That's good maneuver again. Okay, noted. And at this point, we want to go for Wagadugu. Allied with Tunis and Fulo. So we would declare war on them. With the probably Mossy war goal for now. Actually, Mossy has a claim on both of these. We can just give both of them over to Mossy. I like it. That sounds good. So Fulo, we're not too concerned about, right? Tunis, we're going to kick out pretty soon. These guys can go back to drilling. This fort can continue to be mothballed. We do not need that. And we can continue to have our fleet maintenance be minimum. We do not need our fleet for this war. So we're going to immediately head to Lobi, and then to Giaman, and to Gold Coast. We want to wrap this war up very quickly, right? Like, very, very quickly. So our overall goal is to take over the entire Gold Coast. That is our overall goal here. This is a pretense for fighting Tunis without fighting the Ottomans and Morocco. That is the pretense here. So these guys are going to actually sit up here and help protect this army. Cool. While we head down over this way and grab all of this territory, right? That's the idea here. So, this is basically what we want out of this war. We basically already have it occupied. They're going to love being Congolese. Okay, so, functionally, 
We want this. This goes over to Mossy. So this can be transferred to them. And functionally, that's what we want right there. We're not capable of coring anything in Fulo. I don't think we can reach Tunis up here. I, I think that's out of our coring range, if I had to guess. I suppose we could try. We could indeed. So this army comes up, or this unit comes up over here. I want these guys to come around over this direction. And I want to stick fairly close together, right? So something kind of like this. We're going to need more war score. That's for sure. So in we go. We're going to try to knock Fulo out of the war. All we're going to look to get from Fulo is gold. We're going to look for war reps. We're going to look for taking money from them and just pushing them out of the war. That is going to be the goal there. Can we push in over here? Actually, we can. Cool. We can continue to convert, and we will definitely do so. I was hoping that this fort would fall slightly faster, but it's going okay. Excellent. We can continue to push in up over here now. And that's a very awkward path to take. Noted. We could head down into Galam here. I think that's okay. Let's go ahead and grab Admin Tech 16 here. That gives us production efficiency. That will be very good. Yeah, our naval maintenance is low. I'm well aware of this. It's fine. So these guys are just chilling here. And I like it. This is good. I'm very much hoping that this fort falls soon. Now note how Tunis hasn't really shown up. But note how our allies are actually going up here and taking all of this over. We are actually able to core up here. Interesting. Interesting. We might be able to take some good stuff here. We'll see what we can get. Admin tech cost? That would have been nice a little bit ago. We'll take the prestige, actually. Cool. So we won this siege at long last. These guys are now going to make their way up here and take out this Fulo and Wagadugu combined army. Excellent. They... Never stood a chance. Never a single solitary chance set. Okay, so at this point, Fulo's out of the war, right? They're full occupied. We can take whatever we want from them. Can we vassalize them? No. No, we can't. They're too big for that. We can't take any of their provinces. There's basically nothing we could do other than release Molly, which I'm not interested in doing right now. What we're going to do instead is we're going to steer trade. We're going to transfer trade power. Or not transfer trade power. Uh, we're, yeah, transfer trade power. We're not going to steer trade. We're going to do war reparations. All the gold that we can. And do we pillage their capital? No, I don't think we do. That does give us aggressive expansion. Hmm, so something kind of like this. I like it. So Fulo's out of this one. Molly now exists. We'll go ahead and royal marry them, but we need to get out of the rest of this war. I do think that we just head directly up towards Tunis. Uh, we do not have access through here. Hang on. Are we black flagged? Yeah, we're black flagged. So we're going to need to go back to, like, Wagadugu. That's fine. Okay. So this is looking good. 10 prestige, sure. So we're going to have to head back to Wagadugu here. 
And from there, we'll be able to head out to Tunis, I believe. Uh, no, we'll have to go all the way back to Congolese Niger. That's sad. Maybe we'll get it from Mossy? Actually, yeah, Mossy is good enough. Cool. Okay, so from here, we now head up and attack Tunis proper. Uh, we'll lose five legitimacy here, thanks. So we're at 2,000 gold right now, and we're making about 10 per month or so. Reinforcements are kind of eating our lunch there. No doubt about that. But how are we doing on this institution spread? It is actually getting quite a bit better. Noted. Did we ever make these guys into our vassal? No, we didn't. Sure. We'll get there after this one. Mali can be made into a vassal, and that's definitely something that we want to do. So I want to come over here and certainly improve relations with Mali. There we go. So I'm going to leave one of these forces here. And I'm going to leave one of them here for the time being. And we see that actually, in that case, we'll just park everybody here. If their entire army pretty much, yeah, that's literally their entire army is right here. Okay, for a second I thought they were drilling, but no, that's a colonist working there. <laughs> okay, so we'll take this over, and we'll move in with three of our armies. We should easily route this. We do need to continue to convert, of course, and so we shall. Yeah, they got demolished there, as expected. Now we're going to split out our forces a little bit here, and get some of this taken care of. So they're in full retreat. They can't really even fight this force on its own, let alone these others. So what are we actually going to take from Tunis? That's an interesting question. And I guess we'll find out the answer to that in a bit. Okay, our allies attacking here, that's fine by me. Cool. Yeah, this is completely fine. We need to let this siege finish. That is our current top priority. Okay, all of that's occupied. Let's just pile in here and finish this siege faster. It will take a few, a, a few troop count hits, but it's okay. I'm not concerned. We can continue to convert, and we should do so. The knights raided our coast. That's rude of them. That's very rude. Why would they do this? They probably raided over here, to be honest. That's fine. Our colony over here became self-sustaining. We'll go ahead and get a, another one going in go-go. We actually have this core that we can do. There we go. And this siege is now over. We're going to walk in here. And they're trying to leave. Fair enough. We're going to walk in here. They do not succeed in leaving there. Beautiful. So we push them back again. That's not going to stack wipe, I don't think. Actually, it did. That did stack wipe. Beautiful. In that case, um, we need to push our way into here. These guys can go here. The Ottomans have cork bottle stoppers. Good job, Ottomans. And unfortunately, we can't move into their capital due to being blocked by this fort. But what we can do is pile in an additional group of cannon here. I'm just checking, what is our siege commander here? Uh, zero, okay. Our colony in Zagua became self-sustaining. We're going to head down to Hihi. Perfect, and we'll get that cord. I don't want to spend money, okay. I guess we're spending money. <laughs> sure. So obviously this war is won, right? There's no doubt about that. It's only a matter of time now. We do need to grab another reform here. So, legitimation of power. Maximum absolutism might actually be good here because we have that mission for absolutism. Absolutism at, at least 75. Uh, where do we see our absolutism again? We have seven. Okay. <laughs> Strengthening the government is something that we can do. 
Yeah, this isn't shocking. So I think going for additional absolutism is not terrible, right? So currently, yeah, we could we could definitely have higher absolutism. So I think that's okay. We'll go ahead and go for whatever gives us the most absolutism here. Which I think is Machiavellianism. Yeah, definitely. There we go. So that looks good. Let's finish up this siege here. Then we're going to take their capital. I'm not expecting that to be a very lengthy endeavor. There we go. Beautiful. In we go, and in we go. We only need one army here, really. So how much are we actually going to take from these guys? That's a good question. We're about to hit 100% war score. We do need to continue to convert, of course. Okay. So, they're fully occupied at this point. So, what do we end up taking here? Tunis, specifically. We definitely take Tunisian Guinea. That is 100% something we take. But what if we also took this territory up here? Hmm, maybe not from there, but from, like, down this way? It'd be a strange little exclave. Who would be angry? Ajuron, Adal, Tunis. None of those matter. Okay. This is still 94 war score right here. So this is about the best we can do. I think it's good. I think we do it. Cool. So we now have Congolese Tripolitania. We're going to leave one of our units here. Uh, are, are we going to get black flagged? Yeah, there we go. And these two units are going to come back down this way. We definitely could use another army. There's no doubt about that. We're close to our force limit, though. And so right now, I don't think we're going to. Now, this, of course, we're just giving to Mossy. This was all a pretext. So we're going to take gold, give this to Mossy. It's all good. War is over. Now we're going to go talk to Mali. And we're going to offer them an alliance once we have a diplomat to set. Tunis no longer considers us a rival. Hilarious. Hmm. We'll step in to, to regulate any excess. So there we go. And we'll offer them vassalization on 18 December for Mali. Tunis is no longer a valid rival for us, as expected. Okay, there we go. Mali is now our vassal. And we're going to pop over here and get Shua as well. We're going to have to start integrating some of these vassals soon, though. Let's go ahead and influence them for 60 gold. Sounds good. And what is their current opinion of us? Let's see. We have not sent them a gift. Let's just send them a gift and call that good. So 19 January. We no longer need this improved relations. We'll send these guys a gift. That will be 50 gold. And then we'll offer them vassalization on 25 February. Beautiful. But we will need to start integrating some of these vassals soon. That said, we're kind of running out of people to vassalize in Africa. In a way. In a way. I wouldn't mind integrating Ashanti. So we'll work on improving relations with them. There's also Mossy. There's Scotland. Can we actually annex Scotland yet? We actually could. So we'll work on improving your relations with them. And we do need to core all of this, of course. Beautiful. None of these are actually causing overextension, but we'll get those done. Since we can't do Jufra just yet. Because that's landlocked. That is going to be fine. Now, this is currently taking attrition here. Benghazi is the place to go. Noted. So that will be just fine. But it is time to put a cut in here, so I'm going to go ahead and do that. And next episode, we are going to possibly think about fighting Morocco. We're going to have to break through that Morocco wall pretty soon. You can leave your offerings to the engagement gods in the form of likes, comments, subscribes, and bell ringings. And a very special thank you to all of the channel members for making this video possible, including ALS Gamer, Ken Tuin, James, Shadowwolf, Mlohan80, Kentogan, 
Nick Smarty, Dimitri H, Punching the Microphone, Spartan News, Unisol, Rogue Corvid, and all the rest. And of course, you. Thank you for watching. If you'd like to support the channel, you can click the join button down below the video. And as always, I will see you all next time.